Hi everyone, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And what we're going to do today, we're going to do a quick test to see how well cameras have improved over the years. The camera I'm presently shooting is the Fuji HS50, which will be seven years old this year. So we're going to check out the HD video and see how far HD video has came, has came in the last seven years. Does the video from this camera still hold up or it doesn't? I'm going to take the pictures. I'm going to make, as for your input, tell me, how is the HD video from a seven-year-old camera? How does it compare to today? With that being said, I'll see you on the other side. We're shooting in bright sun. So how's the detail on this broken tree? Also, how's the focus? The video of the roof is putting on a new roof. How sharp is this roof right here? And when I pull out, how sharp are, are they? How's the detail? How's the seven-year-old HD video holding up? How does these weeds look sticking up out of this little water? Would they look any different if I shot them in HD with a camera from today instead of this seven-year-old camera? What do you think about this shot at the railroad tracks? Can you hear the train? And yes, it does go out of focus temporarily when you pull out, but how does this HD compare to today's HD video? Will the track still look the same? How well is the detail in this old rusty railroad spike? How well can you read this information? Is it still clear, this seven-year-old HD camera? Let's take a closer look. What do you think about the detail in these numbers? Let's take one more look at these rusty railroad spikes. How do they look to you? How well does the name on this fire hydrant look to you in this seven-year-old HD video? And of course, this is the fire hydrant itself. How sharp and crisp does it look to you in this video? Are the letters Chris? Does the name of the street sign stand out? Let's take a closer look. How does the R and N look to you again in seven-year-old HD video? What about this flower? Would it look any different if I took a picture of today in a modern camera in HD video? What do you think about the detail in this rock, the one that's in the sun, and the one that's in the shade? Can you tell this is a seven-year-old HD video? What do you think about this backlit leaf? Would it look any different if I shot it with a camera from today instead of shooting it with a HD camera from seven years ago? Would this ribbon that's nailed to the tree have brighter colors if I shot it with an HD camera from today? Uh, can you tell this is a seven-year-old HD video? Correction, a seven-year-old camera shooting HD video. Would the brown on this metal roofing be any sharper if I shot it with a camera from today? Oh, it's still a nice and brown with the seven-year-old HD video from the Fuji HS50. And for our last shot, would a Jaguar leaping cat leaping higher if I shot it with an HD camera from today as compared to shooting this with an HD camera that came out seven years ago? I'll let you decide. Well, what did you think? How did the HD video from the Fuji HS50 that came out in 2013 do compared to maybe some of the cameras that are coming out, net, out now. You think you can tell the difference? I've had two cameras side by side, one from 2020, one from 2013. Could, could you tell the difference in HD video? Well, if you think you can or you can tell it on this video, leave it in the comments below. And also, while you're down there, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit, hit the thumbs up, the thumbs down, especially the thumbs up. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up because that motivates me to go out and do more videos. If you don't like what you see, it's all right to hit the thumbs down, but just tell me why, because that will also motivate me to go out and do more videos that you will like the next time. Because I said it before, and you know, I will continue to say it, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all, and the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time.